barley. Beef barley, it's a very beautiful soup. It's a healthy broth and it's easy. It needs a little bit of uh, time to cut all the vegetables, but it's a beautiful soup, very easy to do, very filling, very nice. And the barley, it's great, a uh, good source of nutrition. And don't put too much barley because barley do expand by four times, so it doesn't need much. Otherwise, it will swell a lot and then it will take a lot of room in your soup. You will need a paysan of celery, carrots, tomatoes, onions, diced beef. Here I'm using beef stew, cut in about quarter inch pieces, which is about one centimeter cubes, fresh corn. I also include a little, uh, one slice of beef shank. I like the beef shank because you have the bone and the marrow and that will give some flavor and a little bit of fat to the to the stock, water, freshly ground peppercorns, sea salt, little bit of hot sauce to spice it up, vegetable oil, little bit of butter. Then for the aromatic plants, uh, we're going to use bay leaves, dry basil, dry thyme, little bit of garlic that we are going to chop, barley, beautiful, then few peas, I'm going to keep them in the freezer and we'll put them at the last minute and a light beef stock. Let's finish to cut the buff. I'm going to cut it in quarter inch cubes or one centimeter cubes. Let's cook it. So let's hit a large pot on high heat and we're going to melt the butter in there. with about a tablespoon of oil. So. so we're going to uh, cook the fat. You want to have the butter totally melted and you want to have the fat sizzling a little bit. So now it's ready, it starts to smoke. You see the smoke here. Let's put everything in. It's pretty hot. I'm just going to move a little bit the meat just to have an even layer. And that's it. We let it cook. So what's going to happen is the bigger we put a, a big piece of meat, a big amount of meat in a small amount of fat, the meat was cold because it was from the fridge. So that cooled down the fat a little bit. So if you mix it up, then it will continue to cool down the fat. And then what happened is just that the juices will run out of the meat and it will be just boiling. What we want is to color the meat in order to keep the juices intact and inside. So now it's been cooking a little bit. It's going to be time to uh, stir it. So now I'm going to have the chopped onions in there. All the onions, there we go, right. And we're going to mix it, mix that in order to cook the onions to remove the strong aromas of the onion. Mm, smells good. So now we're going to let cook the meat with the onions for about a couple of minutes. In the meantime, we are going to finish. I'm going to show you how to cut the carrots and the celery. Cut the carrot in slices, then in sticks. There we go. Same thing here. That's pretty good. Position your finger very well in order 
not to hurt yourself. So fingertips away from the blade. Great. And now we are going to cut the celery. So for the celery, I cut it in half, it's pretty large, so cut it in half and then in half again. Okay. There we go, great. I love celery, it's good. Let's add the vegetables to the meat. So, let's add the carrots, one of them. The celery. The tomato. There we go. So, mix well the vegetables together and now we are going to add the beef shank, the spices, and the liquid. So let's chop the garlic. At home you may chop the garlic like so, or you may use a garlic press. It's fine. What is important really is to remove the germ of the garlic, because that will be too acidic and too strong. Right now everything is going together slowly. All the vegetables start to cook and start to release a little bit of flavor. So we're going to add the spices. So the garlic. The bay leaves. The basil. The thyme. I'm going to season with salt. Okay, about a teaspoon, small teaspoon. Pepper, quite a bit, I love pepper, it's really good. Mix, and the shank. So, we're going to add the liquid now, on the top of the shank. Beef stock. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit more water, like about two more cups. There we go. Actually, that was more like, like three cups. And we're going to stir everything together to make sure that nothing sticks on the bottom. Great color. Mm. Beautiful. I'm going to bring the temperature to a high heat because we want to boil it quickly. And then we're going to turn it down and let it simmer for a good hour. So the soup is boiling. So let's remove the lid. Excellent. I'm going to turn down the heat to medium. And I haven't put the hot sauce yet, so I'm going to put about a teaspoon of it. So, there we go. Great. So we're going to let simmer the soup for a good hour in order to cook the meat. And in the meantime, we're just going to finish to green the carbs to be ready for later. Let's wash the carbs in order to remove all those fibers. There we go. So, I like to cut that, cut that up a little bit and then remove that and then just cut slowly cut, and cut around. So, you bring the knife up to the wooden part of the cob, which is here, and you just slice it up. Great. Same thing here. 
Mm. I love fresh corns. It's really good. It's milky. It's sweet. It's, it will be very nice with the barley soup. So now the soup's been going for about half an hour here, and we could see on the top a quite a bit of scum. So we're going to take it off. For that, I'm going to use a skimmer, and I'm just going to pick it up. We are going to stir the soup and just make sure that the meat is totally covered by the liquid and let it cook. So here I'm degreasing the soup for the third time. Great, maybe a bit more here. And we are going to add the barley, the corn, And I'm going to mix everything together. And I'm going to add a little bit of liquid, like two more cups, because it's pretty thick. So just a little more liquid. Excellent. And we're going to bring the temperature to a higher heat in order to boil it faster. And we're going to cook the barley now for about 20 minutes. Let's see if the barley is cooked before we finish the soup. So let me... Uh, Grab some barley. There we go. Mm. The barley have a little bit of resistance, which is great. So now we're going to add the peas. So I kept them in the freezer. So the peas are going to cook like almost instantly, uh, within a minute or two. And we're going to remove the meat and we're going to fork the meat into small pieces. Okay. Remove the vegetables, because you want those peas to be cooking. Okay. So now we are going to um, remove the meat from the, from the membrane here and the fat. Separate it. Great. Mm, perfect. And I'm going to cut the meat into small pieces. So, <coughs> so the meat have cooked about an hour and a half. And it's very soft. If it's still hard, just put more water in the soup because it may have evaporated. And uh, keep cooking. So remove all the membrane, fat, and away from the meat, everything that could have be uh, some resistance. There we go, that's good. We're going to put it back in the soup with the rest of the ingredients, taste, rectify the seasoning, and sell. Let's do that. So give it a good stir. Mm, look at the color, it's beautiful. Mm. I'm going to taste. Mm. Lots of uh, flavor in there. Very nice. Just a little bit more salt and pepper. So, a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. With an, another stir. Excellent. Get another spoon. Mm. Delicious. Beautiful. Let's plate it. Mix well the soup in order to have all the ingredients co well combined. Don't serve the bay leaves. Right? We put two, so you should find two. So don't use that. Nice. Mm. 
beef, barley, soup. Bon appétit